Hello, I'm Bo Hutchins and I'm the Bundled Activities Recreation Supervisor here at Naval Submarine Base Kings Bay in Southeast Georgia and on behalf of the Armed Forces Recreation Network and NRPA I'd like to welcome you here today uh, to our um, training and information presentation on bundling finding efficiencies through alternate delivery methods so what we'll be doing is uh, discussing a little bit about what bundling is uh, providing you some case studies and some examples of the initiatives we've taken here at Kings Bay and uh, on the same page where you've accessed this video log you can find my in-depth presentation uh, PowerPoint slides which I'd encourage you to read and then in the next coming weeks we will have two live question and answer sessions on September 17th at 7 a.m. Eastern and September 19th at 2 p.m. Eastern so we'd like to see you back and uh, so we can go into a little bit further discussion on on bundling and how you can look to implement it at your own installation so bundling what is it bundling has really taken off here in the last year or two um, and really is nothing more than a catchy name for a strategy which looks to combine or partner two or more things two or more programs two or more facilities with the intention of creating greater efficiencies or being more effective in the services you're providing uh, it can be used for programs it can be used for facilities or it can even be used for positions and job descriptions and uh, a little bit here today I'll briefly highlight a few examples that kind of cover all three of those uh, which we've done here at Kings Bay so um, the first example uh, Kings Bay is we have bundled our outdoor recreation and our information tickets and travel programs uh, where we once had two facilities and two program managers and two customer service staffs we now have one program manager one customer service staff one facility um, and in our present in my presentation you can really see all the details highlighted and and some of the process that we've uh, gone through to accomplish this initiative um, but we've really seen a lot of positive results uh, we save on average around forty thousand uh, dollars in labor expenses annually so um, that's just one of the one of the uh, positive results that we've seen from from this one bundling initiative um, our second initiative uh, moving from a facility staffing uh, bundling to more of a program bundling uh, we here at Kings Bay have one cross programmer uh, which is also our uh, Navy Adventures Unleashed coordinator who looks at providing programs that our customers are are pushing for they're asking for in the different areas of fitness outdoor recreation and our single service 18 to 25 year old Liberty program uh, so obviously by having uh, three different people working in three different program areas uh, we have one person that's able to deliver all of those for us. Um, so, um, in the future, how we're looking to expand bundling here at Kings Bay, uh, we're looking at a, a multi-purpose special event park uh, that's going to be able to be utilized for cross-programming uh, events. Uh, we're looking to bundle our conference center and our Liberty Center. Uh, same thing with Outdoor and ITT, we're looking to bundle the staffs there. And then we're also looking to utilize our naval exchange contractor to provide some automotive services for us. Um, so what I'd really like for you to do now is uh, go ahead and take a look at the presentation which we've provided um, via PowerPoint, which will give a more in-depth look at these case studies. And then I'd like to invite you back for the question and answer session. Uh, where will we where we will be going over how you can apply this at your own installation um, a process model for how you can do it and some of the challenges and issues that you can look forward to so um, again thank you for joining us here today and have a great day